This is part 25 in the series that covers this sensational war diary written by a platoon leader named Kurt from the motorized SS Division Reich, which in 1942 would become the 2nd SS Panzer Division, Das Reich. Following Kurt's diary entries and adding rare associated film clips, We'll follow his unit during those fateful days in the late summer of 1941. At the end of the video, I'll show more from that 1944 Panzer Grenadier training film. So stick around, it's worth it. This is a situational map for September 16th, 1941 from the original war diary of the German High Command. We're focusing specifically on the envelopment of the Kiev pocket. On the night of the 16th to the 17th, the 3rd Battalion of Kurtz Regiment, Der Führer, however, not his battalion, managed to cross the Udai River and break through the enemy defenses and push into the southern section of Priluki. Unable to stop the advance, the Soviets then blew the bridge, which trapped the 3rd Battalion in the city. The following morning, the tank destroyers that had managed to cross the night before returned and supported Kurt's 2nd Battalion as they crossed the damaged bridge. Let's get back to Kurt's diary entry, which describes this day. Der 17. September Nach schweren nächtlichen Dorfgefechten erreichen wir am After heavy night fighting in outlying villages, in the morning, we reach the high ground situated in front of the city. After the enemy unsuccessfully tries to halt our advance with blocking artillery fire and well camouflaged direct tank fire, our attack begins at 0430. Advancing quickly, we comb through the suburbs of the city, however, reaching a multitude of sunflower fields, we are forced to fight meter by meter forwards. The seriously obstructed view limits our ability to use heavy weaponry, which means that the majority of the fighting is left to our companies of foot soldiers. Einen Entlastungsstoß der Russen, der uns in die linken Flanke. The Russians try to mount a counterattack on our left flank. I'm able to focus the fire of our mortar teams accurately which forces the enemy to break formation and run headlong into a devastating hail from our machine guns, which brings them to a halt. During the hours long battle, civilians begin to creep out of the rubble and craters that they've been hiding in and come to us looking for protection. Since the Russians managed to blow the bridge and to accurately bring in artillery fire to the crossing area. For the time being, we are forced to take cover at the river's embankment and in the rubble of some destroyed houses. In an open area at a fork in the road in front of the bridge, I organize my men in an abandoned Soviet defensive position. At just this moment, the 6th Company that had been sent forward to reinforce our position is ordered back because of an approaching Russian column to our rear containing approximately 200 vehicles and a row of tanks. It seems that they too were hoping to cross the river and enter the city. Later on we learned that this was in fact the command and supply elements Ubudienyi that were trying to escape the advancing thrusts to our right of the SS Regiment Deutschland to the protection of the city. 
This sudden chain of events left us completely cut off. With a tremendous firefight raging just behind us, we had absolutely no idea what was going on. It turns out that the Russians were just as confused and broke off their attack, which almost certainly would have led to our complete annihilation. With the resupply of ammunition and the hope of reinforcements out of the question, we had to make do with what we had on hand. Stunde um Stunde verind in dieser Stockdunkel, hour by hour passed in this pitch black night. It's critical that we keep the men awake, which is made all the more difficult after days of exertion and little sleep that we've gone through. And our ever creeping hunger makes the situation worse. The continual harassing fire of Soviet mortars helps to keep our nerves on edge. A few hours into the night, I suddenly remember that we'd received a ration of 200 cigarettes. And crawling from foxhole to foxhole, I divide them up evenly. Unsure when our predicament might be resolved, I tell the soldiers to save one of the cigarettes for the morning, which they were then to show me. In these moments, these two or three cigarettes that we each now had were more precious than the best Wiener Schnitzel. In the early hours of the following morning, our connection to battalion is once again established. We were finally resupplied with rations and munitions. SS Sergeant Weiner, the first to arrive, had even brought us food that he's managed to warm up in canisters over a fire in a house. Reinforcements from the 6th Company were supposedly on their way. It seems that the Russians had not been able to fully destroy the bridge. Only the central pillar had been knocked out, with two parts of the bridge lying in the water. It takes us about 20 minutes to scamper across under enemy artillery fire, and we manage to bring even our heavy equipment and munitions. Only one of the men is lightly wounded during the process. It's now that we learn of the heavy fighting that had gone on behind us the night before. The entire Russian column, including 200 vehicles and 30 guns, had been wiped out. The road is filled with this destroyed equipment and the carcasses of 300 dead horses and 2,000 fallen Russian soldiers, 30 of these being women. The entire Soviet command apparatus and documents had fallen into our hands. At this moment, two lone Soviet tanks try to force us back towards the bridge but we quickly set our heavy weaponry on them and blow the first to pieces. The second immediately turns and makes a hasty retreat. Now here's more of the 1944 Panzergrenadier training film that I promised. Use the QR code to get to our Patreon page and see our different levels of support.
If you'd like to see the other parts to this series, which are really good, click on this link. Open a free account on our website, military1945.com. If you like this kind of material, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.